I mean, it, is, it's, it can only be described as something akin to the world's worst hangover in terms of everything that's going on in your head. Uh, <clears throat> so it's nice that as the longer you spend on Earth and, and you start to recover, you can start to enjoy things more. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better than when I first got uh, taken out of the capsule. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the recovery process is going to take some time and there's still a lot of uh, vertigo going on in my head, a lot of this kind of dizziness. Um, but it's getting better and better every day. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's only really just over 24 hours since I, uh, since I landed. So it's remarkable how quick the body adapts. I, I got a, a, a few hours sleep last night and um, it felt good, actually. I, I did enjoy being in the bed. I, I, I did enjoy feeling putting my head against a pillow. Um, to me, it seems a much more natural way to sleep. I, I enjoyed sleeping in space, but I don't think I ever got quite as good quality of sleep in space as I did on back here on Earth. Obviously, I miss, miss the, the view of Earth. It's the biggest thing, and it is, it's probably the thing that has the biggest impact on you, and so it's quite natural that that should be the thing that you miss the most. But also, the routine up there as well is, is phenomenal. You get up, you have a breakfast, um, you get, get to work, you know, there's no commute. It's not just you working alone. You're talking to the ground and, and they're helping you solve these problems. Um, so that's a really fantastic environment in which to work. And, uh, and that's what I'll miss, I think. Major ignition. Lift off. If you don't represent women in politics,